Hi, this is Andy, and in this preview, we're going to look at Rational Quality Manager, or RQM for short. RQM provides a collaborative hub for systems and software quality across virtually any platform and type of testing. It manages test plans, test schedules, and test cases, along with their execution, the environments in which they ran, and their results. Teams can collaborate and share information easily and seamlessly. Testing activities can be automated, reducing the amount of manual labour-intensive work. RQM also provides governance, providing timely project metrics that allow accurate and reliable release decisions. Let's take a look. Go ahead and click the button to open Rational Quality Manager. Now you may be asked to log in to Jazz.net, which is the website for products like RQM. If you don't have a Jazz user ID, then click the Register Now button on the right and pause this video while you fill out the registration form. If you already have a Jazz user ID, then use it to log in on the left hand side. I've now logged in and I can see the Teams dashboard. You should be seeing the same thing. If you're not, then it's likely that you're a new user and the Jazz minions are still busy setting up your new ID. In which case, just try refreshing the page until the dashboard appears. Dashboards are a common capability across the Jazz platform. They can be created for the overall project or for teams, or personal dashboards can be created for individual users. Dashboards give instant access to the project data that's most relevant for the current viewer, whether that's a test engineer looking at the current defect list or a project manager looking at the status of the project. And what's more, the data presented in the dashboards is always up to date. In our sample dashboard, the widgets in the first column are displaying information about the test plans and test cases. The first widget shows the test plans and the collections of requirements that they're validating. The widgets below focus on the test cases, the requirements those test cases are traced to, and the results of the latest test execution. The second column is displaying information about the latest set of test execution records. The first one shows the number of steps that have passed or failed in the radar monitor subsystem test plan. The second one shows the status in terms of points. Of course, these are just examples, and you can configure dashboards to display whatever data is most relevant for your project. Let's dive a little deeper, starting with test plans. Go ahead and click the Radar Monitor Subsystem Test Plan link in the very first widget. The sidebar on the right shows any linked artefacts. In this case, there is a collection or set of requirements in Doors Next Generation that this test plan validates. And there's a related work item in Rational Team Concert for a failed test case. We'll come back to that one a little later, but if you hover your mouse over the link in the Validates Requirements Sets box, you get a rich hover. Another common capability across the Jazz platform, rich hover allows you to obtain valuable information about a linked artefact without actually having to navigate to or open that artefact. It's a huge time saver. Here you can see the set of requirements that are in that particular collection. The left hand sidebar allows navigation to the various sections of the test plan. Go ahead and click the test cases link there in that sidebar. Then just to the right of that link, change the view as selection from general to traceability. Notice that there is a test case for each of the requirements, and each test case is linked to the requirement that it validates. Go ahead and hover your mouse over one of those linked requirements to see the rich hover. Here the test engineer can see all of the useful information about the requirement that that test case validates. When a test plan is linked to a collection of requirements, RQM can automatically create test cases in the plan linked to those requirements. Automation like this reduces manual effort and speeds up project delivery. Go ahead and click the first test case in the list, Flexray and Canvas test case, to open it. Again, the right hand sidebar shows all of the linked artifacts, including the test plan that the test case is part of, any related test scripts, the requirements that this test case validates, and related work items in Rational Team Concert. 
the left hand sidebar allows navigation to the various sections of the test case. Go ahead and click the test case design section. Here our tester has sketched out the steps for this test case. Another automation feature here is that that text can be automatically turned into a manual test script with a single click. Let's go take a look at that test script. In the right hand sidebar under related test scripts go ahead and click the FlexRay and Canvas TS test script link. If you scroll down the page you will see the set of steps that the tester has to perform in this manual test script. Initially auto created from that test case design our tester has then augmented each step with the expected results and then included any graphics or external files that will help the tester. There are lots of different types of test script from manual steps like this one to fully automated scripts using command line or testing tool integrations that can execute full suites of tests and automatically gather the results. Manual tests like this one can even be exported to a portable device like a smartphone or a tablet so the test engineer can perform them in the field and the tool will synchronize the results back into the system when he's back at base. In the right hand sidebar under parent test case click the FlexRay and Canvas TC test case link. Back in the test case in the left hand sidebar click the link to test execution records. Here you can see the results of each execution of any of those related test scripts. In our sample data we only have one related test script and it's only been executed once. However the last result column indicates that that test failed. Go ahead and click the red failure symbol in that column to dive in and examine the results themselves. If you scroll down the page you can see our tester has walked through the steps recording the results of each and adding comments where necessary. In this case the flex ray communication was working but the CAN bus was not. Click the back button on your browser to return to the test case. Then in the right hand sidebar click the link to the related change request that's 73 failing test case. That opens the connected work item in Rational Team Concert. Now click the links tab just underneath the name and summary section. And note that this work item has links to the test case, the test result that indicated the failure, the test plan that the test case is part of and the requirement that the test case is validating. Now this work item and all of these links were created automatically with a single click when our tester found the test case failing. That's it for this preview. We've only just scratched the surface here so feel free to explore RQM on your own and I'll join you again in the next preview.